More than a thousand had come, some by bus, to the UN-backed war crimes tribunal in Cambodia to hear the verdict for a former Khmer Rouge jailer. During the 77 days of his trial, Ganguk Yu, better known as Doik, had admitted to overseeing the deaths of up to 16,000 people who passed through the gates of the notorious tool-slung prison he ran. On Monday, the chief judge announced Doik's conviction. The chamber decides as follows. The chamber finds Gang Gek Yiv guilty pursuant to Articles 5, 6 and Article 29 U of the ECCC law of crimes against humanity. He was found guilty of war crimes, too. Next came the sentence. The majority of the chamber sentences Gang Gek Yiv to a single sentence of 35 years of imprisonment. But taking into account time served and other factors, the prison term for the 67-year-old former math teacher was whittled down to 19 years. That sent some relatives of victims, like Hong Savat, rushing out of the courtroom in floods of tears. He should have got life. Chu Mei, now 79 years old, was one of the few who survived imprisonment at Tul Slung. I'm not happy. My people are not happy. I'm angry once again. We suffered once under the Pol Pot regime. And now we are suffering again. I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. If Chu Mei was angry, lawyer and victim's advocate Thierry Sang was furious. It comes down to serving 11 and a half hours per life that he took, which is just not comprehensible or acceptable. New Zealander Rob Hamill's brother Kerry had died in Tool Slung back in 1978. My family, who are no longer here to see justice, uh, would not want to see this man walk free, even if it's in 19 years' time. At the prison itself, now turned into a museum, some of those paying a visit Monday seem to agree the sentence was too light. The prosecution and defense have one month to appeal. Some advocates already have indicated they will. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.